Good morning. Good morning, the people of uh, Potakot. My name is Vera. I am, I'm at the airport and I'm heading to Potakot, Portland Resort. I want you to come and welcome me. See you guys there. Bye. I love you. It is no longer news that when God wants to lift a man, even you listening to me, from grass to grace, from shame to fame, he will first off strike situations, scenarios that will lead to that. We have seen this happen in real life experience in other people's stories, too numerous to mention. But today we'll be taking a look at the story of Sister Vera Ayim, aka the celebrity graduate and Pastor Paul Eneche of the Dunamis Church. Whom during the testimony time in the church service of Pastor Paul Eneche, Sister Vera took the microphone to give the testimony of how God elevated her as the first graduate in her family, a family that was going through a lot from a poor background, bringing her to the point of graduating as a lawyer in Bachelor of Law, LLB, right? Take note, in the Nigerian Open University, right here in the country, Nigeria, and to the pastor, Paul Eneche, this whole testimony of a thing seemed doctored and unrealistic to him. That was what sprouted to him questioning and interrogating her harshly, right? Which really seemed as a public embarrassment, so demeaning and, and distasteful for a man of God in that pedigree and class to do such a thing. But in defense from him, he stated it clearly that he's been having or sensing this doctored testimonies from his members and he stands the grounds to always make sure, accurate sure that whatever testimony his members are giving are in line and in accordance. And from the way Sister Vera Ayim stated her testimony also struck up curiosity for doubts, right? And at the end of the day, he was left with no option than to conclude on the altar that Sister Vera Ayim was lying, like capital letter L-I-E, lies. But that didn't end there between Pastor Paul and Neche and Sister Vera. Further investigations was carried to be sure that Sister Vera actually was telling the truth as of her being a graduate of law in the Nigeria Open University. And it was confirmed through that she was actually a graduate. And to the shock of the pastor and every other person present, it was now a twist of fate. A twist of greatness and a twist of fame for Sister Vera. Yes. And this is where the story begins. But trust Nigerians to always, as usual, drag, bully, and analyze the whole story for what it is and what it is not in their own terms of understanding, right? They constantly called out Pastor Paul on all social media platforms, which continuously gave more visibility and more publicity to the AKA celebrity lawyer, celebrity graduate, Sister Vera. In defense of a celebrity graduate, how can a pastor do this? Why should a man of God do this? Why should the house of God be a place of turmoil, a place of rage, a place of violence, pain, acrimony? The house of God is no longer a safe place for their members to go serve God in peace and actually have peace of mind. Why should this man call out a member for a mere testimony that she gave? Categorically accusing her of lying. People said a lot of things, guys, and you know what? This continuously spreaded like wildfire. Let us not also forget that. Why this whole drama dragging was trending? Pastor Paul and Neche quickly called on Sister Vera for an apology and reconciliation, right? Which Sister Vera actually succumbed to because I believe she is a woman after God's heart and she has the fear of God and also the spirit of forgiveness, which she quickly reconciled and moved on. And that is the major reason why God stepped into her case and she began going viral and not just going viral for the wrong reason, for the support, for the love, for the attention, for the fame, for the wealth. In fact, for more futuristic purposes, futuristic things that will happen in her life. So people, individuals, companies started, you know, fighting in defense, acknowledging in defense of Sister Vera by gifting her money, cash, gifting her plot of land, and to the limelight of it was cited the CEO of Portland Hotel and Resort Port Harcourt gave to Sister Vera a one-week all-paid expense catered for well-treated reserved accommodation in their hotel. 
as to also mark their one year anniversary right here in the city of Port Harcourt. Can you beat that? No, 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 it didn't just end there. We had several individuals reaching out to Sister Vera. We want to give you this. We want to do this. And so many, too numerous to mention that. This one singular act and incident between Pastor Paul and Eche, the testimony and Sister Vera has cost, right? I can tell you for free that this has catapulted the status of Sister Vera from grass to shamefulness, sh disgrace to fame, to greatness, to abundance, to wealth, and so on and so forth. Now we can say of a truth that what was meant to bring her down, humiliate her, has actually brought her to limelight and fame. And the journey has just started. The journey, the pathway of greatness for Sister Vera has just begun. Let's keep watching. But before we conclude, let's know that the testimony that has led to all this was a testimony that was based of what? Truth and not lies. So before you go on to want to say you want to jump on the trend of giving your own testimonies or situations or story on any platform, any media whatsoever, be sure that one, it is truthful and factual. Because if it is not based on truth and, and fact, my dear, when investigated and they are all lies and untruthful, you go explain, explain, tire, no evidence. Hey, God. So just do your homework very well and never ever live your life based on lies, right? Because at the end of the day, lo and behold, what brought Sister Vera to her current status, fame, wealth, and what have you is a singular act of truth that was meant to glorify God, to exalt the, the, the work of God, the goodness of God in her life. And actually, the devil wanted to steal the, 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 the opportunity of God's glory in her life, but God showed up and said no. And that is why today she is trending for the right reasons. So this brings us to the end of this story. And at this point, I want you to leave your thoughts, your comments in the comment section. And if you're just tuning in, hi, my name is Chivik Inspirations. And here in Chivik Inspirations, we say that it is without minding whose heart is God. Not just to inspire, to motivate, captivate your spirit, your soul, and your body. You can never get it as a dull moment right here in Chivik Inspirations. So why not stay glued on this channel for more interesting episodes by clicking on that subscribe button and as well turning on your post notifications so that you will always be the first to get notified whenever I post a new video right here on this channel. So for my returnees, thank you so much for always coming back to support this channel. May God bless you richly and abundantly. But well, remember to always stay happy, safe, and blessed. Till I come up here on the space in my next episode, this is me, Chivik Inspirations, officially signing out. Do have a lovely day. Bye, guys.